This is Andy Purrell of Boxing Social in association with Betfred. And for the first time in person, I'm delighted to be joined by Magic Matthew Hatton here at the Joshua Usyk Fight Week uh, Hotel. Uh, Mag Magic Matthew Hatton once again. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, we've met a few, spoke a few times on the phone and via Zoom, haven't we? But it's the first time, so uh, no, I'm good, thank you. It's good to hear. Obviously, it's Campbell Hatton Fight Week once again. Um, talk to me about preparations for this one, Matt. As Campbell's progressed, as I asked him earlier, how much do you think we've seen the improvements as his career has gone on so far? I think we've seen gradual improvements. I think everyone's commented that they've seen gradual improvements. I've been seeing massive improvements in the gym. Uh, and I think it's only a matter of time before they, those show up on the night. Uh, I've seen it several times before. Some people have taken them longer than others. Um, but all of a sudden, something will click. Might even be this Saturday, fingers crossed. Uh, but Campbell capable of a lot more, um, and it's only a matter of time before that shows. Hopefully Saturday. Is there a pressure? On, is he feeling a pressure? He said to me he doesn't feel the pressure to get the stoppage, but he acknowledged certainly in the first few rounds of his first few fights of his career, he's maybe rushed things looking for one. Would you agree with that? I think so, particularly in his last fight. I thought he boxed so well early on in his last fight. He was catching the lad, hurting him. Um, and then he was trying too hard and again difficult in four rounds they always feel as if the clock's against them and at the end of the day and if I keep trying to drum into Campbell it's not about stopping people it's all about winning but he's a fighter at the end of the day he's an aggressive fighter so of course he wants a stoppage all fighters want, want a stoppage um, but it's only a matter of time before they start coming it really is Matt, one thing which I've seen people suggest over social media, obviously throughout Campbell's career, he's been on big shows um, so far and obviously doesn't get much bigger than Saturday night for him. Because of the pressure of what you've achieved, of what Ricky's achieved, on his shoulders as well, coming through the next generation of, of the Hatton name, would it be worth, it, worth rather of just pulling him back from the big shows and onto the smaller ones and building him like that? Or is this the right way for him to continue to gain experience now? I think a mixture of the two would be perfect. But at the end of the day, the most important thing for me as Campbell's um, trainer is he's fighting regular. And we're just coming out of the pandemic. So I keep drilling into Campbell how lucky he is that he's fighting regular. We're getting on some big shows, some big platforms. And again, it's great for his boxing experience. You know, at the end of the day, Campbell is fighting people at the minute who, if he performs against, he should beat. Um, so again, it's good experience to get it in early. And at the end of the day, on on you know on Saturday night, he's fighting at Tottenham Hotspur's ground. Anthony Joshua is top of the bill. There's going to be a huge crowd there. Boxing experience, life experience. <laughs> what are you going to say? No, we don't want that. Stick us on a, on a, a leisure centre. So whether it's at a leisure centre or a huge stadium, it's all the same to me, uh, as long as he's fighting regular and busy. But this is great for his boxing experience and, and a life experience. This is something Campbell will never forget. Talked about his opponent for Saturday night, uh, Matt. What do you know about him? Again, it's a switch of opponent. Um, he's a good opponent, actually. Two wins, four losses game, uh, he's fought some bigger men likes to come forward quite a good all rounder um, but again this is a good fight for Campbell it's, it's a good bit of matchmaking uh, and I think he will hopefully he'll come and have a little fight with Campbell because uh, I think we'll see a little bit more what Campbell's capable of a lot of Campbell's previous opponents have been very negative really once they've got a taste of what he can do been very negative so I hope this fella comes to fight on Saturday and from what I've seen I think he will Campbell said, obviously, it's a six round of this time. Those extra couple of rounds, Matt, how key do you think they will be for him to not feel as much pressure as what he maybe has done previously to look for an opening to try and force a stoppage? Well, it's huge, you know, for, for someone who doesn't really know the sport, four to six, they, they don't see a big difference there. But from a, from a fighter's point of view, it, it's huge. The difference between four and six rounds again your mindset you know you know you've got that little bit more time you can take your time uh, so I, I again I think we'll see a big improvement a big difference in Campbell's approach uh, in a six rounder as opposed to a four moving on obviously that headline event and to Joshua Alexander Usyk as we're only a few days away Matt what's your take on it it's a great fight isn't it uh, I was excited about the fight when the fight first got made and I'm a big Anthony Joshua fan, I, I always have been, I've made no secret about that. And I thought Joshua would win when the fight was first made. I still think he's going to win, but for some reason as the fight's got closer, my confidence is waning a little bit. But if, you, if, if, I had, 
Yeah. My last 20 quid now, it would definitely be on, on, on Joshua. I think the, the size difference, I think how well Chisora did uh, early on against Usyk, I think that's quite a quite a telltale sign about the, how Joshua's size could, could play a big difference in this fight. So, very interesting. It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind in the fight, but I, I do think Joshua will, will win by stoppage, probably, probably later in the fight. How do you think AJ needs to approach this fight? Um, we've seen some photos a couple of weeks ago of him looking lean, looked in good condition yesterday of a workout. Didn't give too much away, but like I say, looked in good condition. People may be thinking he's going to look to obviously have to box and move, being a little bit lighter on his feet to move with Usyk, who's a phenomenal technician of the ring. How does AJ approach it? Does he need to look to be aggressive early on so he doesn't allow Usyk to settle into a rhythm? Or does he allow Usyk to kind of be comfortable in those opening rounds and to save his, save himself for those last few rounds to put it on him? Well, for me, again, and uh, I'm a, I'm a, I much prefer AJ when he's lighter and leaner. Uh, I don't like it when he's too big. Too, and that's against any, any opponent. You know, AJ's such a good fighter. Don't worry too much about the opponent. Concentrate on what you're doing. And for me, AJ is much better when he's when he's lighter and loose. He's obviously the bigger man, so he's got to get physical. It'd be silly to go in there um, all guns blazing. I don't think we're going to see that. I think he'd be quite cautious early on. But I think it will warm up. And I think when it does get warm up and it does get more physical, I think that's when it's going to suit AJ. So I think it could be quite a, a tricky start. I don't think it's going to have people on the edge of the seat the first few rounds but I think the fight's going to warm get better as it goes on and the more physical it gets I think that's when we'll see AJ coming you know let's not forget AJ's a great boxer too an Olympic gold medalist so I think people underestimate that U6 obviously got a great ring IQ and I think it could, could be a chess match early on but as the fight gets longer it's going to become more of a physical match up then and that's where AJ comes in and, and in my opinion first is a stoppage just a final thing to get your thoughts on that. Somebody you know well, Canelo Alvarez, had a, a little uh, exchange with Caleb Plant at the face-off yesterday. I want to get your take of, of their um, altercation. I tell you what, it's a good job he didn't try that with me. <laughs> I watched it, yeah, and, uh, you know, Caleb was coming out with all sorts. One of you was quite, um, quite vocal, wanting... And, uh, I think you've seen more of Alvarez's personality over the last... 12 months you know he's gone from saying very little so he's got a lot to say for himself now and he and uh, like I say he was getting in each other's face and uh, it all builds a fight and stuff like that so I don't read too much too much into it really it's uh, part boxing these days isn't it if you are Caleb Plant and you see that cut under your eye from that exchange though what does go through your mind psychologically will it, will it be on his mind now for the next few weeks until November 6th swings about I don't, I don't think so, personally. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a hindrance, isn't it? Um, with a cut under his eye, it's going to affect his sparring and stuff like that. I don't think he'll read too much in it. I've probably had worse off that off my missus when, she, when, I've, come, when I've come in late and she's tried to swipe me. <laughs> um, so I don't think he'll read too much into that, to be fair. But it's certainly, look, taking a, a look at a picture I saw this morning, it's certainly going to interrupt his uh, his preparation. I, I don't think the fight's in jeopardy or the fight's not going to go ahead on that proposed date. But it's certainly going to hinder his uh, his preparation. So, uh, again, not ideal. I mean, I'm no expert on cuts, Matt. I'm sure you, you'll know more about it than what I do. But how long would you say it would take for that to heal up? Again, I only saw a picture briefly this morning. I'd say it's probably going to take at least a month to knit together that. Just before fight night, you, you think it'll probably have just yeah. about maybe... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, there's, again, there's a few little things that he, he could possibly do, uh, but he's certainly going to interrupt his sparring. And who's to say that's not going to open up in sparring and get worse? It's uh, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? You know, it's, it was a bit of pushing and shoving, but uh, there could be uh, bigger consequences there, couldn't there? Certainly could, Matt, but we'll leave that there now because I know you've got to shoot off and train young Campbell, so I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your day, or Chesney as he liked to call himself. <laughs> uh, Matt, I appreciate your time. Have a good one today. Thanks for being Boxing Social. Nice one, Andy. Anytime, mate.